with this page set up for canceling subscriptions, let's go ahead and test it out. And then we'll also get the link over from the uh, profile page where someone could come to manage their subscription and come to this page should they decide to uh, want to change anything about their subscription, cancel or, or, or keep. So let's dive into the process here for testing it. What we want to do actually is we want to here on our mobile subscription management page, go into the workflow quick. So when a subscription is canceled, that is, let's see, this step, step number two. Now we search for the subscription ID out of the database. And if you recall in our last video, we had these two subscriptions set up here. Now, uh, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because the one that's in our database is this subscription ID, this uh, HDF. If we look here for this user, HDF, HDVF, subscription ID. Um, okay, but that other one, let's go ahead and see if we can't cancel that as well and just show off uh, that our testing. So over here on more, subscriptions, show off that our testing is working. So I'm actually gonna copy this one from the one that is not in our database. And then I am going to paste it here. Nope, clear that. Copy the clipboard. And then paste that, okay. And then I'm going to reload this. And now I am going to cancel the subscription. Cancel confirmation, yes, I would like to cancel it. Okay, and we can see actually that this confirmation thing should be hidden sooner. But here is this uh, processor. And then the top one is actually the real progress of like the actual system working on its stuff. Uh, and then again, we have that 20 second pause, which is just giving the system enough time to go and do all the necessary things that it needs to do. Now, uh, okay, it looks like it successfully canceled here. And so if we click the back button here. All right, we can see that that subscription was deleted. Uh, so here we have, now it's under our canceled area, this cancel one. And if we look at our customers, I believe it was this, you no, know, maybe it's this customer, is our customer ID. Um, uh, you know what? We, uh, we actually are using a customer ID of the second one and we canceled the subscription from the first one, but, but what I wanted to show off there really was just that uh, we could successfully do something inside of the Stripe dashboard. So if I click back on this workflow, we can see now with our search for users, we're actually going to go in and get that database value. So let's do that. And if we met, navigate over here to subscriptions, we should see this trial one get moved to cancel. So if someone uh, clicks out of your or their uh, within your app they click out of their profile page to the link that says manage subscriptions and they say cancel and they say yes I want to cancel it then over here in stripe if we reload we can see even though the system here is still doing its thing um, because of the pause we can see that over in Stripe, we actually did get that next one canceled by referring to that different ID. And then so, okay, it takes us here, great. And then now if we want to, I'm just gonna reload this page, keep subscription, again, that's all it does. Uh, so it looks like that button for this keep subscription, when we click done here, we need to add an action to hide the keep subscription confirmed. And then when this button cancellation, we show this one that's processing, we cancel the subscription, we hide, I think we wanna hide this one right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one last test here. It's just always good to see the different scenarios of what your setup could be. So cancel subscription, and then we can see it changes right away. There actually is no subscription to cancel this time because it's already been canceled. It's referring to this. This is the ID that we have in the database. It is already canceled. 
but it, it's not it's not going to be smart enough to come back and tell us hey it's already canceled but in a way it's like it not it's not it doesn't really matter okay so let's move on and yeah, we'll let this page yeah kind of do its finish off its thing and let's go back over to our mobile app here to our last item of what we need to do on the profile page so click into there no actually it is in the profile settings is where we're going to place this and let's see for these each of these items we have let's just look at our spacing here um, height of 20 and then 20 in between so that means we should take this down by 40 so take that down to 500 oh. let's do this one first take this, this one down to 540 and this one down to 540 get in touch down to 500 and then now we can copy and paste one of these here get that to snap into place same with this and then we'll clear this out and we will add in this social icon for dollars and then we're going to change this to um, so we'll add a conditional here but to start out with what we want this to say this is the text for subscription management so we'll say here manage uh, let's see if they are already subscribed we'll say manage subscription if they are not subscribed so here's what we'll do we'll go over here and we'll say when the current users click paid subscription is yes then the text is and then we'll uh, just grab this copy expression and when it's no then the text will say what okay so let's think uh, we want the text with if they're not subscribed to say uh, get full access to all classes and what would that look like okay it's not too long and then manage manage your subscription here and probably good without the here it's clear and that would look like this okay so let's go and preview this page and then when this is clicked what we want to have happen is actually I'm going to click back one second so I can grab this link okay and we're going to have a thing here like we did before where we are going to take this thing called the BD let's see um, uh, we don't have a plugin installed just yet we will do that in a future video it's thinking something different what we want to have happen here is navigation open an external website and this UID we want to make dynamic for the current users unique ID so we'll, uh, this URL we will worry about updating that later but for the purposes of this video let's just get this as a test so we are currently logged in as yoga test and looks like our spacing is off by a touch but let's check our functionality first get full access to all classes ah and you know what great point to make here is that we only want to run this when the current users uh, paid subscription is yes because what this is is this this sent us to the management page but if we don't have a subscription so we're going to copy this paste it okay so we have two of these and we want to change one of them to no and then we'll want to change this from mobile subscription management to mobile payment same user ID thing uh, working in the window 
and then let's go ahead and click back. We might as well, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what do we have here? Between these, we have 30. So between these, we now have 30 as well. Okay, so that's all we needed to do. All right, so get full access to all classes. Mobile payment. Is it mobile payments? Yes. Okay. Let's just do a refresh here. Clicking here. Yes, so we're taken to the correct one with the payments. And now we'll type in our test card. Type in first name. And then we'll get full access now. And then we'll check out here under our subscriptions how we just had this one created now. So Jane Doe created a subscription that uh, is on a trial. And then now um, what's going to happen is that they were in the app prior to this and now they would be on the web page in their like Safari or uh, Google Chrome browser perhaps on their mobile app or sorry on their mobile device uh, and then when they come back here see notice how it says manage subscription so if they click that then they're taken to this area where they can manage the script subscription if they keep it then they keep it great if they cancel it and then they actually cancel it here we'll do a, our final test where we'll go back after this cancellation and we'll see that text, text update from manage subscription to uh, get full access now or whatever, or get full access to all classes once again. So that completes like the whole process. As you can see, the person can go through, they can manage their subscriptions, they can do all the different things that they might need to do. And then back here, yes, get full access to all classes. So that's it. So um, this is how your users will get their uh, full access to the courses and everything and then of course here this 14-day trial button will show up on the profile page uh, or you could place it on other other parts throughout your app as well it might make sense to uh, do it here uh, or within the flow of certain classes but that's it for our payment stuff the rest would just be adding calls to action a little bit more of like marketing uh, psychology move someone along down the funnel to becoming a paid customer so